So today I want to talk about a year 11 concept and that is the concept of the generalized pigeonhole principle. And loosely speaking, I'm pretty sure most of you guys have figured this out already, but yes, it pretty much is common sense. So the principle states that if you have say n pigeons and then you're given k pigeonholes to just dump all of the pigeons in, then it just turns out that at least one of the pigeon holes must contain n divided by k pigeons. And that's fairly intuitive enough to understand. It turns out I can just do some very nice math with it somehow. But I found that when I first started getting into these problems, the hardest thing for me to do was figure out one, what are the pigeons? And two, what are the pigeon holes? Loosely speaking, I like to think of things this way. I like to treat the pigeons as some object of interest, and I want to treat the pigeon holes as some favorable characteristic or trait of the pigeons. So I'll go through my example again. You'll see here that I have a standard deck of cards, and for those of you who don't know, there are 52 cards in the deck involving 13 values and four different suits. And I'm just going to do a very simplistic example where I say, oh, if I draw nine cards, then three must be in the same suit. Notice how I've actually given away the object and the characteristic straight away. I've given it away that I'm interested in nine cards. So I'm taking n equals nine pigeons. And because I'm interested in the suit and I know that there's going to be four suits, I'm going to take k is equal to four pigeonholes. And then pretty much I just literally use my theorem or principle. So I'll say, well, okay, at least nine divided by four, which is equal to 2.25 cards are in the same suit. But the good thing about the pigeonhole principle is that I can always round it up to saying, in fact, there will always be at least one pigeonhole with three cards in the same suit. Very simplistic application, but there's not really that much else to it. Thanks, everyone.